So the next thing I wanna do is let's make a new layer. And this is actually just so you can see it better. It's not actually really to help me. I'm just gonna make a new layer and select all and then fill that top layer with white and just turn the opacity down. And that way you're gonna be able to see what I'm about to do a little better. So we're gonna get our pen tool and we go to paths and we'll make a new path. And what I wanna do is I would just wanna trace around this Bronco so that we can get rid of this really busy background. We're gonna get rid of the areas in the windows here that show through. And that'll make this image a lot easier to deal with. And this is essentially almost exactly like drawing a vector path in Adobe Illustrator. And this is a vector path in Photoshop. So you can click to come to a point, click again to make a straight line, or if you wanna make a curved line, you click and drag and then let go. And this is gonna be a hard corner, so I'll just click. And I use a space bar to get the hand tool that allows me to move the whole canvas around while I'm zoomed in here. And this is gonna be another straight line, so I'll just click and you kind of get the picture. So I'll just speed this part up, but I'm just gonna draw around this whole Bronco and feel free to exclude anything you don't want. You have artistic license here. Just because it's in the photo doesn't mean you have to use it. A lot of this is just practice. You'll figure out little shortcuts, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail on drawing paths here. A lot of it just takes practice. Um, if you wanna learn more, you can look up on Adobe's help as far as drawing paths. The one, the one trick I'll tell you is use the least number of points you can because if you start using a ton of points, it's really hard to get your paths looking nice and smooth. And the other thing is, I'm gonna zoom out here. You'll see how there's a drop shadow under this Bronco. So I'm not actually gonna follow just the bottom of the Bronco here. I'm actually gonna leave a little room for that drop shadow. And you'll see why I'm doing this a little later. And here we get to curb. And what I wanna do here actually is let's kind of draw these tires in as they would look if you could see them. Because we're not gonna to wanna to have that curb in our design. We're gonna want it looking like it's on the ground with, with nothing in the way. And so that's essentially the exterior path. And we wanna go in here and draw out all the windows. So you see like, you could see through this window and there's a mirror here. So we wanna keep that cause that's some nice detail. And we can cut this window out. Let's keep the steering wheel. And then you'll see there's a, a sunshade right here in the way. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and pretend like that's not there. But there's a window shade right here. We wanna keep that because that's part of the truck. And these parts are really angular. So I'm just clicking each point. It's a straight line. So now if I go back into the layers, let me turn this layer opacity back to 100% so you can see the paths we have in there. I missed the undercuts here under the board rack, so let's do those. And let me zoom out, turn that layer opacity back up. So now you can see our paths and those are looking nice and clean. I'm just gonna get rid of that layer. And the next step I wanna show you is called the threshold method. 